Good morning and welcome to Community Focus. I'm Faith Daniels. And when we talk about fighting breast cancer, we traditionally run to the month of October. And that's where we try to cram so much information into such a small period of time. Breast cancer awareness and fighting against breast cancer should be an all year job. And we are having an amazing event that will do just that. Educate and inform about breast cancer and some other things that we're going to be talking about. I welcome this morning Cheryl Scroggins, and Cheryl is an advocate for health and wellness. That's a big umbrella, but breast cancer specifically, she is blowing the horn loud and clear to make people aware. Welcome, Cheryl. How are you? I'm great. It's so good to be on your show. Thanks for having me. How are you? Amazing. And it's always a great time to talk to you because your focus has always been the health and wellness of the community. And that's a variety of things that we've talked about over the years. But today we are specifically talking about fighting against breast cancer. And there's a whole conference going on right here in the Miami Valley to tell us all about it. Give us the details. Well, you know what? I am so happy to be able to share with our community that we are going to be providing a free conference. Yes, it's going to be free. It's going to be a half a day, so we're not going to take up your whole day. It's going to be Saturday, August the 6th at Sinclair Community College, a really nice event. Free, free parking, hot breakfast, lunch, great lineup of speakers, one of which is yours Truly, Miss Faith Daniels. So thanks, Faith. I'm excited. I'm excited. When we talked about this, I was thinking, well, breast cancer, I, God bless, I have never had to deal with it. However, getting my mammogram was a little unsettling. If you've waited any period of time to get it too late, or when I say too late, other than the prescribed time when you should have been getting it, and you've let that time lapse, you get a little nervous. You get a little anxious. If you yes, haven't you. been doing your personal checks like you should with your boob buddy every single month, you get a little nervous. But mm -hmm. what I felt with this was it gives me an opportunity to interact with people before things are bad, before things are terrible. This is an opportunity to educate, engage, and inform. And I'm happy to be a part of it because in our community, we need all of those, the education, being informed, and then being engaged with getting our best health to be a priority. Now, tell us about the day at this amazing conference. Yes, this conference is Saturday, August the 6th, so it's coming up, and it's going to be um, from 9 until 1. But since we're serving a nice hot breakfast, um, people can begin walking in at any 8.30 to 9.00 so that they can go ahead and start participating. Um, we're going to be at in the Building 12 at Sinclair in the Charity Early Room. And we are going to um, look forward to having the women register. And they can register on the website for Community Health Centers of Greater Dayton. Community Health Centers of Greater Dayton, American Cancer Society, and Pfizer are sponsoring this event. And um, we want to make sure people are aware it's free. So when you come, you can drive and park in the lot, lot seat, free parking, and um, and really enjoy a wonderful conference. We put together some really great pr presentations, and it's not going to be boring. It's going to be real upbeat, and we just really want to have a nice conversation with women about women's health and particularly about breast health and breast cancer awareness. And the most important thing I want people to gather, this is not your normal, boring, sit down, take all these papers, watch all these slides, and we're going to tell you a bunch of stuff you've probably already heard. It's very engaging because you have a variety of speakers that are going to be talking about a variety of things. Yes. And we hope that the women, when they come, will come with their questions, their concerns, because we're going to have an opportunity for them to ask questions and get answers. And we have all the people that they want to talk to right there in this one room. So we have a certified nurse practitioner from Community Health Centers of Greater Dayton. We also have uh, the uh, director of the Breast Evaluation Center at Kettering Dayton. Um, we have uh, the director of the Breast and Cervical Cancer Project um, that's funded by the Ohio Department of Health. And we have a host of other partners who 
who are working with us at Community Health Centers of Greater Dayton to address breast cancer in Montgomery County, particularly among women who are at risk. And, I, and unfortunately, um, our African-American women, though they do get their mammograms, most of them do go get their mammogram, they don't go back if they get a letter saying, hey, you know, we see something on the film. The letter won't say that. The letter will say, you know, you need to come back for follow-up. And I, if we can spend a little bit of time talking about that, I don't want to steal the conference's thunder, but I just want to encourage women to not let fear keep them from coming to get this information. If you come to this conference, when you leave, you're going to feel really good about your health. Listen, we take care of our nails. Mm -hmm. We take care of our skin. We take care of our hair. You know, I got my braids. You know, I'm a real down to earth person. Look, got my braids, got my nails. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I take care of my breasts too. I get my annual mammogram every year because it's important for them to know every year if something changes, they know because they say, hey, this is different from last year. Let's take a look a little bit closer and see what's That's going right. on with this. That's what they need. They need an annual mammogram. So we're encouraging women to come and ask their questions. Bring your friends, bring your sisters, bring your cousins, bring your mom, your daughter, and come out and just, just have a nice Saturday morning, eat breakfast together, break bread together, and get this information. It's going to be a, really a lot of fun. Well, the one thing I want our listeners to really focus in on, we've been using a term since pandemic called self-care. And we've been beating the band, beating the drum to get people engaged in self-care. But I want to come and give people a couple of bullet points that will get you started on self-care. Self-care does include your breasts. It includes your annual pelvic exam. It includes colon health. It includes a whole lot of things, including your mental wellness and your ability to realize you need you. Just yeah. that simple. We have taken care of our parents as women. We take care of our families, our children, our extended family, our spouses, even our in-laws. We take care of people at work. What about you? And we stress self-care, but a lot of people don't really know how to overcome the guilt that really people feel about taking an afternoon and saying, I can't help. I cannot yeah. help today. It's today is me day. And yes. I need to do nothing to decompress from all the things we've been doing. This conference will have a little bit of that. But what I really want them to wrap around their minds with is it's free. And the medical information that you are going to get, you would traditionally have to have an appointment to be able to speak with these individuals and get this information firsthand. Yes, you would. We want the women to really just, you know, take a deep breath and just come on out and, and do this for you. Do this for you because you, you deserve to be taken care of. And I agree with you. Most women put everyone's health ahead of their own. It's just so That's easy right. to do. I'm guilty of it. I know you are as mm -hmm. well. But there comes a time when you need to stop and say, I need to pay attention to my body. My body is telling me something. You know, I need to really pay attention. I need to be, really be aware of my body. I That's need to right. really care about my own health. And um, I need to stop putting myself at the end of the line. I need That's to right. take care of me. You know, and at one point in, in, in time in my life, I, I said that to myself. I said, I want to live to see my children, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to take care of me. And I don't That's mind right. sharing with um, whoever our listeners are that I am a breast cancer survivor. And I'm, awesome. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the most I'm the most I'm the, the one that's the most shocked. I would never have thought that I would have breast cancer. I was the last person in the world I thought would have breast cancer. I went and got my annual mammogram every year. And um, yeah, I've had a couple of times when I've gone back and they said, oh, we see, you know, you need to come back for a follow up. You go back for the follow up and you don't, you're not really expecting them to find anything. And a couple of times I had, oh, a lump, a cyst, mm -hmm. you know. There are, the breast has lots of different conditions. And we'll talk about that at the conference. And they might have found a little this, a little that. But then there was that one day that they found something that was called cancer. You know, mm -hmm. and I was I was the most shocked in the room. Like, are you sure that I have cancer? Are you, you know, and the beautiful thing was it was stage zero. That's awesome. 
stage zero is like there is no earlier stage than zero. So I was able to get a diagnosis of cancer, which was not good. But by the end of the year, I was also cancer free. That's awesome. That's you know? awesome. So I'm uh, fortunate enough to be able to say, yes, I had breast cancer. It was caught early because of my mammogram and me going mm -hmm. back, you know, and that's what I want to encourage women to know is you're in control. That's you right. Control. You have to take control and and change the scenario. So it that's works right. in your favor. Well, and we have to be our own best advocates. And one thing we have to understand is everything you did was right. You were diligent and they still found it at zero. Right. However, what about women who have not been doing the right thing? Don't be afraid approach it with the fact I'm going to start today and yes. I'm going to learn more about my breast health today. I'm going to schedule my mammogram today. Yes. Now that everyone is becoming more aware that breast cancer fighting it is a year round situation. We can't wait till October and make strides and walk. We've got to pay attention to our bodies Every single month of every single year, your self exam. Absolutely. But we still need you to schedule the mammogram. We still need you to get your annual exams that go right along with that. And if it's easy, schedule your breast exam each month on a day that is significant to you. Maybe it's your actually day of your birth. So on my monthly at the April the 4th is my birthday. So on the 4th of every month, when I'm in the shower, I make it my business to take care of myself and do my self exam. I want you to tell ladies why they need to be there. We've talked about the self care. We've talked about early diagnosis, saving lives, but speak to them about the fact that if you don't know, we can't help you. Getting Absolutely. a diagnosis is the key. You know, I'm sitting here listening to you talk and the thing that comes to my mind is the system is ready to receive you. You have but you have to go. The system is ready. It's there. The, uh, they have the, the 3D uh, mammogram equipment. It's like the latest technology. They have improved the technology so they can actually see through your breast and, and see what's going on in there. So it's not like an old fashioned technology. It's the most current and to take the 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 experts were there to read your films and, and determine what's going on with your breasts. They're not just looking for cancer. They're looking for other things, um, benign tumors, um, fib fibro, you know, fibrocystic tissue. There's so many different mm -hmm. cysts. There's so many different things that they find. That's all part of, of knowing your breast uh, health. You, you know, you, you know, your nail health, you, you, you know, your, your, uh, your hair health, you know, your skin health, know your breast health. You know, that's right. That's right. Now, we want to get as many people registered to join us on August the 6th at Sinclair College. Give them the web address where they can get registered. And we want you to get signed up simply because, yes, it is free, but we want to have an account of how many people are coming and how many we shall expect. So please log on and get registered. Bring a friend. In fact, bring your sister and a friend. Mm -hmm. It's not too old to bring mom or your aunt. Make it a girl's morning. Now, if we had free mimosas and you were at brunch, you'd be there on time. Let's get together for this beautiful breakfast opportunity and get some great breast health and self-care initiative going for you and your girlfriends. Yes, you know, they can go to Community Health Center Greater Dayton website. And that website is communityhealthdayton.org. Communityhealthdayton.org. And there should be a link up on the landing page for the website that they can use to register. If they want to navigate a little bit more, when they go to the Community Health Center of Greater Dayton's webpage at communityhealthdayton.org, they can look at health information. And when they hit that tab, they'll see the information about the Fighting Against Breast Cancer Program. The, there is a program at Community Health Centers of Greater Dayton that is called Fighting Against Breast Cancer. And that program and the center is the one that is hosting this event at Sinclair. We're outreaching the women that are part of the Community Health Center of Greater Dayton. They're active patients age 
40 to 74, and some younger, depending on family history. But also mm -hmm. we want to make the community aware. So it's not, we're just not operating in a bubble. We have That's partners right. that we are, we've linked hands with about 15 area partners, all the healthcare plans, both the hospital systems, they're on board, um, Care Walk, Breast Wishes Foundation, the Norma J. Ross Memorial Foundation, Pink Ribbon Girls, and um, University of Dayton, um, another program called Hughes, uh, it's a Women's Health Advocacy Institute. Just what I'm saying is there, we're not just operating in a vacuum. That's it's right. Health Center, Greater Dayton, working with all these wonderful partners together and they provide services for breast health and breast cancer and they provide mm -hmm. resources for women. Some women need, um, you know, for the women who have gotten a, a diagnosis of breast cancer, everyone's home situation is not the same. That's so we true. have partners that provide house cleaning services, drive you to your appointment, bring you meals, take uh, introduce you to a support group, take you to your support group appointment, whatever you need. Believe there are partners who provide that. Uh, Absolutely. Free. Yes. <laughs> free. You know, and ideally, you don't have to be just interested in breast cancer information. You right. may already have a diagnosis. A family member may already have a diagnosis. Come to this event. There are so many resources that will be made available to you. Perhaps you are new to understanding breast health. This is the perfect way to start with your breast exams, getting the information that you need to manage your health. Self-care yes. is the best care, and it is inclusive of your entire body. And we're going to touch on all of that on August the 6th at Sinclair Community College. Now, this begins at 9 o'clock, but yes. arrive early for breakfast, definitely, and meet with Come us. Early. Yes, Come early. Um, we want everyone to register um, if some individuals can't register, they can walk in. We're encouraging people to show up, bring a friend, bring a family member, bring your mom, bring your best friend. Um, there's going to be plenty of seating. There's going to be plenty of, of space for you to stretch out. I do want to mention that COVID's kind of on the rise. And so we will be providing masks to everyone that comes that doesn't have a mask because we don't want to be there and be the occasion to cause you know, further spreading of, of, of absolutely. So, we'll be absolutely. Masked up. so one, I mean, when people are eating, of course they won't be masked up, but during the time that they're just sitting and listening or um, participating, you know, just to act, to, we, we're just going to do the responsible thing and mask up. So we're and looking that's forward, awesome. Yeah. We're looking forward to this event and we're just hoping people will share the information and just show up. August the 6th, Sinclair Community College, Fighting Against Breast Cancer. It's an amazing conference that you can come to, and it's absolutely free, and all of the details will accompany this interview. All you have to do is click the link, and you can get signed up. Cheryl, thank you so much for joining us today. I, am, I appreciate you so much, Faith. You are just a wonderful person to, to, for our community. You do a lot of great work in our community. Oh, and I just want to so make much. sure that everyone listening knows that you will be, you are on our program and you're one of our, our, our morning keynote speaker. And we're glad. To Absolutely. Have you. I will be there. And it's a great time too, because we are not the same women we were when we went into quarantine. We <laughs> are a lot different. Yes, We've we learned are. so much. Yeah. We have grown so much. And this is going to be a wonderful opportunity for us to share that together and learn, grow and give to ourselves. We're constantly thinking about giving to others. This Saturday, August the 6th, is going to be a chance for us to give to ourselves. And we're going to be able to leave with some life applications that will help us do that well after this conference is complete. Absolutely. Cheryl, you're awesome. Thank you so much for sharing this good news. Thank and you. if you've missed any portion of this community focus, please go to our website, 921WRU.com, and you can stop right on our Facebook page. It'll be posted there for you as well. It's Community Focus. I'm Faith Daniels. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy your day.